Mill workers, forestry employees, politicians, and environmentalists gathered together today, taking to the streets of Nanaimo to demand a ban on raw log exports. Communities up and down the island have been hit hard by the exports, none more so than those towns that are dependent on the forest industry. CTV's Cheryl Bloxham reports. Easy job under attack. What do we do? 150 people strong took their fight through the streets of Nanaimo. There's just way, way too much of this log export going on that we need to stop it. They say raw log exports are hurting Vancouver Island communities and eliminating jobs. We got the Ladysmith sawmill. Um, you know, we end up being shut down for a week because we couldn't get logs. Um, Harmac, we represent the workers at Harmac. We continually struggle to get wood at the pulp mill because so much of the pulp wood, even now, the small logs, is being exported. Critics say the once plentiful resource is now being shipped away. Almost 40% of raw logs in the province loaded onto barges destined for China. The BC NDP is demanding the government change its forestry policy. Well, 35,000 jobs in the forest industry have been lost in manufacturing. Over 70 mills have closed. Nanaimo has the highest unemployment of any BC city at 14.5%. Demonstrators say much of that is linked to forestry. And that's not just forestry workers. It's also the, the businesses and the services that depended on those jobs as well. So we, it has a far a far-reaching effect on the economy has a far-reaching effect on society. Politicians, union heads, loggers and mill workers march in unity and joining them an environmental group. We're here to show our solidarity with the forestry workers in the area that we can have uh, increased forest protection of, of our last old growth stands but protect forestry jobs by banning raw log exports and working on regulations and uh, incentives to ramp up the value-added sector. Critics say if there isn't a stop to raw log exports, the future of BC's forest industry looks bleak. Once we get into that mindset of exporting wood and shutting down mills, we're never going to turn that around. They say now is the time to make changes and protect jobs. Cheryl Bloxham, CTV News.